Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication, a company of EC collaboration. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular lab, I'm going to show you how to configure peripheral gateway for Cisco Unified Communication Manager. So the first thing we need to do is under the EC uh, administration tools, we will go ahead and configure a conf um, using the configuration manager and agent test settings. Agent desk settings allows you to predefine set of configurations that are required for all the agent. So here I'm going to create uh, under the lease tools. Click on agent desk settings. So I'm going to create one default agent desk settings. So let's say we call this default agent desk, and the uh, ring no answer time will be 20 seconds. Um, no auto answer for agent uh, desk settings for now. What we're going to do is just simply enable it, uh, and then I'm going to add a second one. We will call this the North America agent. Ring no answer, 20 seconds. Auto answer, so they will automatically answer if they're available. And we're going to enable a mobile agent uh, based on the agent cho choices. <coughs> Uh, you can also configure ring no answer dial, uh, dial number which we have not configured yet so we're just going to keep it default all right so two a uh, two default uh sorry agent desk settings are configured we're going to apply one of them right now during our pg setup and the other one we can customize it when we uh, add the agent so right now the next step under the explorer tools um, before we go into the explorer tools let's go to call manager one of the thing about the PG setup in the call manager is we must configure uh, JTAPI client, which we need to download from our call manager that is going to register to. So under uh, application, you want to go to plugins, and you want to download the JTAPI client from there so that it can download the, uh, it so, so that you can configure the TFTP address. So what you're looking for here is a JTAPI client for Windows. So let's go ahead and download that. Make sure it is the 64-bit. Uh, 64 so go ahead and run. <coughs> It's a small client. 